Hello all, Zysaris here, bringing you another quick tutorial on how to create balance in your robots. Now, as you can see here, I've created a unusual setup where this is able to balance on one wheel. Also, I've coded it so that I can move it forwards. backwards. And it will automatically balance itself when it is done. To achieve this, I created this program using the jets. The program itself is symmetrical, almost, and is the same on each set of two jets. The program is done as follows. Each jet has a spot down here is linked to an altimeter. This determines the altitude of the jet in question. These are put into as the set point and feedback of a controller with KB, KP and KD values of 200 and 100 respectively. What this means is when the altitudes are uneven, it'll take the set point minus the feedback and times it by the KP value, which will provide some initial thrust through the control down here. This will create a speed and this speed will be times the next tick of the program with a derivative which will be times by a hundred. Now what ends up happening is because these rockets are all pointed downwards the derivative will always be negative more or less. Um, the derivative of the one going down and thus the one that needs to be slowed down will be negative and the one going up will slowly will be positive and it will come back down. But anyway, regardless, what it does what this means is this K D value is actually subtracted from the overall thrust of the rocket. So down here, you can see the control outputs in both into the frost and down here into a sample mapper, which has no mapping, only an invert. This is because if one jet is going down, I want the other one to go up, and vice versa. So what this achieves is, if they are uneven, the one that is higher gets more thrust. The more uneven, the greater the amount of thrust, as you can see from the purple exhaust coming out of the jets. Now, you could use hovers instead of jets in this particular situation. However, hovers would cause it to be able to fly above the ground, which would make the wheel useless in this case. You would have to find some alternate form of propulsion if you were to use hovers. To use hovers, all you need to do is put the hovers in where the jets are, replace the part with part hover, and the thrust gets replaced with the lift value for the hovers, and that should work. I have not tested that yet. Um, other than that, that's all you need to know about basic balance. If you are to copy this exact setup, however, make sure you don't flip this upside down. If these rockets were to be placed on backwards, the KD value, instead of taking 
from the overall velocity would be increasing it, which would mean that it would, instead of getting slower and thus balancing out, it would get faster and faster, making the gap bigger and bigger until it hit the top of the world. With this setup though, it'll always even out at roughly zero, depending on how even the terrain it is on is. Um, anyway, that's it for this tutorial, so good luck, have fun.